Okay, guys, so we're going to practice this week's spelling words, um, just a little bit. <clears throat> and this is when sometimes we have words when they're in the singular, okay, which means we just have one of them, and then we change it to the plural. Sometimes there's a change, and then sometimes um, there's not a change. Okay, so singular just means only one of them, plural means two or more. All right, so the word is foot. <coughs> First of all, try to write the word foot. Okay, foot is going to be singular. <coughs> Just one foot. I have one foot on my left leg. Foot. Okay, this is how foot is spelled. F-O-O-T. And then I want you to change foot to feet. Okay, I have two feet. Alright, obviously that one's a change. Kind of gave that one away. Alright, it goes over there in the change. In the change. Alright, well the next one I want you to try is tooth. Tooth. What happens with tooth? Write down tooth and then write down the plural of tooth. And whether it changes or not. So you would have written down tooth, okay, and see how that looks just like foot? And tooth does change indeed, changes to teeth, alright, um, and I'd like you to try goose, goose, write down goose and then write down what happens with goose, alright, good, you guys are already getting it, excellent. Goose goes to geese. Okay, and do you remember when we saw that double O changes to a double E? See that? Okay, so if you can kind of get that pattern, that will help you. In each of these words, the double O changes to a double E. Um, now, how about the word? How about the word knife? What happens to knife when it changes? When you get some more in your house? Okay, you only had one knife, but then you got some more, so then you had what? Okay, excellent. You had one knife. Oops, I almost spelled it wrong here. Don't want to do that. Remember, there's a silent K at the beginning, otherwise it would be knife. Alright, and then it changes to knives. Knives, good. And then, how about um, life? Life play a video game, you got one life, or many, what? Okay, I have one life, I have many lives. Okay, and do you remember this pattern? When you got the IFE, changes to IVES. Okay, so that F goes to a V, you just put an S on the end. Okay, so that will help you kind of remember that pattern. Okay. Um, and I'll give you one more. How about um, sheep? What happens to sheep? You have one sheep, or you have 16 of these. Okay, you have one sheep. You have 16 sheep. Okay. Doesn't change. Alright, and look at this. See how double E still a double E kind of fits this pattern except this isn't shoot or something. Okay, it's not a double O, but it's kind of the same pattern. All right. Oh, we'll do one more just for fun. How about deer? Deer. One deer or twenty-five. What? One deer or twenty-five of these. Deer. Okay, one deer, 25 deer, doesn't change. Okay? And these are, you know, fine. These fit this double E pattern here. Uh, this, if it, was, if it wasn't deer, it would be door. Right? And that would get confusing. So we have deer with E's. Okay? Otherwise you'd see some doors out in the field. Okay? And that'd be kind of strange. Alright, but it's deer and it just stays deer, 
whether you have just one or you have 101. Alright, so that's a review of today's uh, spelling lesson for this week.